everyone how's it going today coach Danny Alvarez Alvarez Jutsu Nance in Texas uh, topic for today wanted to see uh, I just want to share with you guys um, you know kind of what I do when I get hurt so unfortunately yesterday um, I got hurt during one of my training sessions the morning training sessions um, busted up my ribs pretty good went to the doctor got x-rays nothing's broken but um, definitely um, busted up pretty good to where I can't train. Hasn't been like that in a while. I haven't been hurt like that to where I haven't, haven't been able to train and push through in a while. But for anyone that's trained jiu-jitsu or had a rib injury knows those things will shut you down in a second. So there's no crunching. There's no this, that. I can't even, I can't do anything. So, but what I can do was get up like I did today and find out what I'm able to do otherwise as far as my workouts. So as far as working out, because it is my, my strength and conditioning day. I did uh, 10 minutes on the assault bike, kind of warmed up with that. Um, I was able to do some pull-ups. Normally, I'm not able to do pull-ups because I've been hurt in the front of my ribs before where that's just not going to happen. You yawn, stretch, do anything. You're not able to do any of that stuff. But I hurt the back of my lower rib to where the pull-ups really didn't affect me. So I got my, my workout in with that. Did some front kettlebell squats, got my workout in with that. And then now... I'm coaching so that the team right now is, is, is in the other room here uh, putting in some work. But for a lot of people, um, it's an excuse to just kind of take time off, right? A certain part of your body might be hurt, but that doesn't mean your whole body is hurt unless you're in a cast in the hospital bed somewhere and you're like kind of on that meme where, uh, you know, jiu-jitsu people probably know where, you know, the, the coach is like, hey, where you're at? Why are you skipping training? And the guy's like fully cast up in the hospital bed okay so unless you're like that then there's something that you can do to me i tell my students if your upper body's hurt then work your lower body if your lower body's hurt you hurt your knee sprains your ankle you can't run you can't squat then do your upper body do your core do something can't just sit around and do nothing and just find it you know use that as an excuse to just work to not do anything for me i'll use it as an excuse to find something else that i can do so um, I think that that uh, that'll help a lot of people out there that when you do come across an injury uh, sitting at home on the couch just kind of because it sucks if you train jiu-jitsu which a lot of you guys are watching this you know when you're hurt and you can't train man it it's painful it's painful right now I got a room over here I'll take you over here in a second they're killing it I mean it's just a bunch of people in there just getting a great workout in doing jiu-jitsu and I'm like Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer I can't join in and I got to watch, you know, it's absolutely killing me. But I got a great workout in today. I did 100 pull-ups and I did, uh, you know, 10 sets of my kettlebell squats and I did my core. I did what I could do as far as my core because did some of it did bo uh, bother my, my back and my ribs. But I got my workout in, okay? I'm not going to use that excuse. I'm not training day. I, I, I can jog a little bit, so I'll probably jog right after um, I get done with, with class here. But... If you're out there, you got some type of injury that you're dealing with, figure out what you can and can't do and then do it. Just don't sit around and be woe is me and kind of be sad about it. There's something that you can absolutely do. Um, again, unless you just got hit by a truck and your total, your entire body is just in a cast, there's something you should be able to do. You can't run, do the assault bike, you can't do that, do the elliptical machine, find something that you can do. Go for a walk, something's going to help get outside like today's beautiful day outside uh me i'm in this room other room with full of energy with all these guys and um you know it's uh it's just something i wanted to get out there because you know it's not really uh i don't really deal with too many injuries to where it's going to get me off the mat but today is one of those days and i'll probably be off the mat for the next couple days because these rib injuries don't heal that fast so i'm not really looking forward to that either but i gotta get what i can in and uh, do what I need to do, right? Let me show you real quick. Come on, guys, quick water break. Let's go. Let's work, let's work, let's switch it up, switch it up. Hustle out, hustle out. Let's go, Sergio, get up, get up. Let's go. All right, Danielle, hit the clock. Let's go. No break. No break. Let's get right to it. Yeah, let's go. Yep, Miss Christy, hop in there. All right, Kim and Karim. Danielle, grab someone else. All right. So, anyways, coaching, get some good energy off of them. You're hurt. Find a workout you can do. Walk, 
salt bike, do some crunches, do something. Just don't lay around the house and not do anything. I'm still sweating, putting in the work. Can't train. Bummer, right? But I'm not gonna let it just get me down like that. Still gotta come and teach class and just get some type of workout in, all right? So if you're going through an injury, pick yourself back up, find something you can do, sweat a little bit, you're gonna feel better, get back to work, all right? You guys have a great 4th of July. We'll talk to you again soon.